Bobby Wine to tour Uganda meeting and thanking voters. Welcome to the Angels News Podcast, please subscribe to our channel. Party spokesperson Senyinyi did not reveal if they had received permission from security agencies to do this. The National Unity Platform, NUP, leaders have resolved that their president Robert Kyagulanyi alias Bobby Wine embarks on nationwide mobilization campaign aimed at thanking voters for his overwhelming support in the January general election. This was part of the seven-point resolutions announced by the party spokesperson Joel Senyinyi after a two-day retreat in Jinja which was the first after the January election. When asked whether they were cleared by security, Senyinyi revealed that they are law-abiding citizens who shall follow the law as prescribed under Political Parties and Organizations Act. He went on to say that NUP members have sometimes been blocked by security agencies even after they have been cleared by the Electoral Commission to carry out party activities like in January 2020. According to Senyinyi, other resolutions made include using their political offices to fight what they termed as an illegitimate regime until it collapses. All leaders who attended the two-day retreat were subjected to a mandatory oath of allegiance to the party as part of the resolutions made. Party Resolves on Speakership The much-anticipated party position of speakership was key in the IT agenda, though they failed to come up with a candidate for speaker. Some sources who attended this meeting, on condition of anonymity, revealed that there was debate whether to endorse KCCA Speaker Abubakar Kawalya as their party flagbearer for Speaker of Parliament. After tough debate they resolve that they come up with a committee that will receive names of all candidates interested in the position of Speaker of Parliament. Similarly another committee was receive applications for those seeking to be speakers at different local governments. When asked to reveal who will be on these committees, Senyuni declined to comment on the matter saying it is an internal party matter. NUP leaders also resolved to press for powers that be to grant them their presidential win since they consider President Museveni's government illegitimate. They also tasked Council Madar Sagona to head the committee that will amend their party constitution. Senyini said that there are sections in the party constitution that need to be amended to bring them up to date. The party president Robert Kyagulani attended the two-day retreat throughout. Others in attendance were Vice President for Buganda Matthias Mpuiga, his counterpart for Eastern Uganda John Baptist Nambish and the party Vice President for Western Region Jolly Magisha Ikio Mugashu whereas Dr. Lena Zedriga who was reported to be out of the country attended via Zoom. According to the party Secretary General Louis Rubongoya the retreat was attended by all newly elected members of Parliament District Chairpersons and Mayors. He revealed that they will hold another retreat for all their councillors at different levels throughout the country. Thank you for watching, The Angels News Podcast.